Well, we're back in the hood now, and um, we had to redo this last step because the 20 milliliters of liquid that we had obtained was too much to evaporate in the desiccator. And this is what it looks like in the inside. It's a completely clear suspension. Now you can see how the chloroplatinic acid is crystallizing at the surface of our platinum solution in the reaction vessel. It looks like rays across the surface. And from the top, you can see that the crystals are different density here. And this crystallization procedure carried out at a temperature of about 50 degrees Celsius. And this is because the crystals actually melt themselves at 60 degrees Celsius. So this is the end of our attempt to generate platinic acid crystals for further experiments. We have now evaporated the platinum solution down to below the 5 milliliter mark. And here is a different view of the formation of the chloroplatinic acid crystals. And it appears that they form on the surface of your suspension. Look from the downside, you can see there's some, still some liquid on the bottom. Another update on what the crystal formation looks like on the surface of our platinum solution. And now we have evaporated off. Most of the suspension is only about 3 milliliters left in the bottom of our reactor. So after 12 hours of crystallization at 50 degrees Celsius, we have grown this see if I can show big chloroplatinic crystal and it's one piece. bottom of the reactor. Unfortunately we had some bubbles being trapped inside the crystal. I will try to zoom in on that. So this is what came out of the entire reaction where we started with 5 grams of pure platinum thread. 
and this platinum white was 99 or is 99% pure it was exactly the same amount as I'm holding here in my hand that we first dissolved in aqua reagia thanks for listening and please post your comments and questions below so we have now prepared our salt from platinum and uh, uh, Ami will give a few words about the cost benefits on making your own platinum salt. So we are sorted uh, by 5 grams of the platinum and each gram of the platinum costs uh, 57 US dollar per gram. So this is the initial cost we stored. And uh, out of the 5 gram we yield 13 gram of the salt. Each gram of the salt costs 435 US dollar per gram and for the 13 for the 13 gram we got uh, something around uh, 5655 US dollar so if you compare this one to this one we save 20 times at the end well that's excellent so it's 20 times cheaper to make your own salts than buying it from Sigma Aldrich.